we're at reading papers part six and seven test taking strategies there are a few ways that can help students to understand a text better reading the text slowly at the initial stage is to grab the ideas of a text at an early stage of reading students can highlight the important information from the passage given or read the first and last paragraph of the passage then students can proceed further to read each initial sentences in all the paragraph Useful information to keep in mind while attempting reading comprehension passage. Tip number one, find answers to the WH questions while reading a passage. Tip number two, try to visualize the passage to remember and retain it. Tip number three, organize the key information in the passage in acronyms, forms or maybe a flow chart forms to avoid wastage of time in rereading the passage again. Tip number four, focus on the questions asked to test the comprehension skills because if students comprehend the meaning of the questions wrongly, then there is no possibility of getting the answers correct. Let us look at reading paper, part six and seven. Let us take a look on how to approach some of the questions in passage 6. For questions 27 to 33, you will be guided step by step to search for the reading comprehension questions. Each question has explanations about the skills needed to apply to find the correct answers. For question number 27, students can apply the skills mentioned earlier, which is distinguishing main idea from supporting details. For these questions, students need to identify the message or idea the author is trying to inform the readers. The questions start off with, the writer began the text by, students need to choose the options A, B, C or D. So, how to answer these questions? First, we need to understand the first paragraph. Then, try to understand the message the author is trying to inform everyone. And lastly, analyze all the MCQ choices are given. The answer is D. For question number 27 mentions just now how the writer begins the text by so students need to refer back to paragraphs 1, line 5 to 7 whereby the clue is given for students to choose the answers. So the skills involved that students can apply to answer question number 27 is distinguishing main ideas from supporting details.
questions number 28 in paragraph 2 what is the writer's opinion about critical reading so here students need to choose the options given a b c and d so the answer is c there is lack of attention paid to critical reading so why the answer is c here students need to refer back to paragraph 2 because in paragraph 2 line number 9 to 10 suggests an evidence reading critically is being less emphasized in education system in americans primary schools or colleges Questions number 29. Students can apply making inferences skills to find the answer for these questions. Students need to refer back to passage 6, line 21 to find the best answers based on the four MCQ options given. The answer is A. For questions number 29, Students can find the clue in paragraph 4, line 21. Let us look at question 30. In paragraph 6, which of the following best sums up a critical readout? In order to find the answers from the options given from A to D, students need to refer to paragraph 6 to find the clues. The phrase must take the time to consider out line 37 and the following ideas. Lines 38 to 39 suggest that a critical reader must know or be accustomed with the reading process. For question number 31, Paragraph 7 is developed through A. Listing, B. Examples, C. Narrations, and D. Arguments, which is comparing and contrast. In paragraph 7, line 40 to 42, the author had discussed the reading for information's purpose. While line 43 till the last sentence of paragraph 7, the author had focused on how to read critically. So, how the students can answer these questions well? So the skills that can help students to apply in this question is discerning the organizations of a passage. It refers to how the author has organized or shaped the text. And it includes an understanding of how the information is grouped or ordered. And this skill also helps the reader or students to understand the author's point of view and make meaningful connections. Here is paragraph 7 that students need to refer to in order to answer questions number 31. Students need to look at line 40 to 42 and line 43 until the end of the paragraph which students clearly can see that it is comparing between reading for information purpose and how to read critically. For questions 32, there are four options given for the questions according to paragraph 9, a wise reader would. So the answer is B. So for this question, students need to look for the clue given okay, from the question that is referring to paragraph 9, line 58 to 60, which is highlighted. So the reading skills involved to answer this question is Distinguishing main ideas from supporting details and summarizing. Line 58 to 60 indicate that very careful thoughts or considerations are given in making a decision. For questions number 33, which of the following can be appropriate title for the text? So how the students know what title is suitable for the text? So let us look at the options A, B, C and D. And obviously here B is the answer. Okay, because it discusses about ways to become a critical reader. So why options A, C and D is not the answers? Okay, let us look at A first. 
A, the, the skills of reading critically, basically the whole passage does not talk about one skills refers to how to read critically only. Okay. C, the importance of reading critically. So it, in the passage, it does not focus entirely on the importance aspect of reading critically also. And finally, D also is not the answers. Difficulties of being a critical reader. So the passage, it is more to comparing reading for information. Okay, it's being focused more and less on reading critically. So therefore, A, C and D options is not the answers for these questions and the skills that students can apply to answer this question is skill summarizing so what is summarizing skills it is a brief concise statement which emphasizes the main ideas of a reading text summary skills is also restate an idea phrase sentence using different and fewer words phrases expressions and etc. but maintains the original meanings.